I'm in Santos right now, one of the most beautiful places on the planet. Let me take you through my week and show you how I got here. This first dude right here, he's a blue belt. This is like my warm up role. I'm a white belt, but he couldn't tap me in his, in his best day. So I use him as like kind of my breathing technique, slow, methodical, work on some of my techniques and fundamentals with this guy. So this dude right here, he's he's kind of my homie. Me and him have gone out and had some drinks before. He's cool. I usually never tap him. He never taps me. We're kind of even. So this is like the first 10 seconds of the fight and the last 10 seconds of the fight. Now this dude right here, this is my homie Giovanni. He's a brown belt right now, he's about to be a black belt at the end of the year. And this dude is like wrestling a bear. He's he's super tough. He, he can tap me at any point, anytime he really wants to. And I'm just kind of fighting for my life the whole time we're in a roll. So I just have no chance versus this dude. He kept trying to get me an arm bar. So I'm trying to avoid the arm bar, but I'm putting myself in dangerous situations. And it ended up costing me my nose. He came across my nose as we flipped over. And damn, that shit hurt. Oh. 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 about to have a black guy took a nice little elbow to the face but damn man I had a date today too <laughs> I'm lying that's what happens but let me show you around the house a little bit you know give you guys a little insight on what happens actually I'm not just eating Tupac burgers every single day like I actually have a little life over here so <laughs> let me show you around the crib a bit just let it run. cool little spot here A lot of people don't know this, but you can't flush toilet paper down the toilet in Brazil. You have to use one of these bad boys right here. Those shower for your ass. This is a self-serve bidet. I call it the bidet buffet. <laughs> And my spot is cool, bro. For me, 
it's a balcony. I need a balcony, I need a gym, and if I have a view and a gym, I don't really give a fuck how big or small the place is. That place is awesome. That's my home right there. Sao Paulo will always have a near and dear place in my heart because that's where it all started for me. One of my favorite places is this park, Parque Ibita Poeta. It's amazing. It's like the central park, if you will, of Sao Paulo. I'll show you how to get around the park a bit. You can rent these little bikes. Uh, they're about Vinci heads, so like maybe like four or five dollars. You can rent these bikes for the day, however long you want, and ride around. There's places for you to work out. There's like three huge lakes there. They have a long walking path, a long biking path. A lot of people are out there running and hanging out right there by the lake. It's very scenic, very surreal. But the reason why I like it the most is in the center of the park, they have an Afro history museum there. And Brazil has such a, a rich history, a rich culture that is very similar to that of the United States in which they had the same slave trade from Africa. They dealt with the same types of oppression. First thing that they greet you with is this picture of these four severed heads. As soon as I saw it, I said, man, this is about to be dark. When you continue through the museum, you realize that there's a lot of police brutality. There's a lot of oppression. There's a great deal of racism and bigotry and separatism. So many similarities, which makes a lot of sense because in Brazil, they have a connection to people like Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, the people that were oppressed so much that they rose up and they became leaders. The slave trade created this of melting pots of Brazilians of all different colors, and it's pretty interesting. One of the most interesting parts of it is they have a slave ship inside, well, the skeletal remains of a slave ship, all the workings of your typical uh, slave trade. The whips and the chains and the violence and the masters and the field workers and it just has all of that and I found it very interesting. A lot of slaves came through that area and now Brazil has this African culture to it that very much resembles that of the United States. It's a uh, pretty incredible a lot of Brazilians talk about the United States in the, in the same way, in a sort of similar fashion of like, I know what you're going through, I feel you, I understand. You'll see photos of the police shooting down people with water hoses, attacking them with dogs, all the familiar signs of unwanted people after the slave trade. It's like, motherfucker, you, you kidnapped me here, it's like, now you're stuck with me. But they also showed the Brazilians and the African Brazilians as kings and queens from their native lands with gold and, and jewelry and the dress. So I find that very interesting. But this park is incredible. I love this park for that reason and for many other reasons, but I work out there. I sit by the lake, stay there all day at times and watch the sun go down. It's a really cool place. It's a little different. I mean, they got the same shit over there that they got here, but it's just, it's just there, it's a little different. Example. All right, well, you can walk into a movie theater in Amsterdam and buy a beer. And I don't mean just like a little paper cup, I'm talking about a glass of beer. And in Paris, you can buy a beer in McDonald's. And you know what they call a, a, a quarter pounder with cheese uh, in Paris? They don't call it a quarter pounder with cheese? Oh, man, they got the metric system. They wouldn't know what the fuck a quarter pounder is. And what do they call it? They call it uh, Royale with cheese. Royale with you. Looks like me and Vincent caught you boys at breakfast. Sorry about that. Did you have it? Hamburgers. Hamburgers! The cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. What kind of hamburger? Square. Big Kahuna Burger. Big Kahuna Burger. That's that Hawaiian burger joint. I hear they got some tasty burgers. I ain't never had one myself. How are they? 
Go ahead. You mind if I try one of yours? This is yours here, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. This is a tasty burger. Vincent, you ever had a big kahuna burger? Want a bite? They're real tasty. Ain't hungry. Well, if you like burgers, give them a try sometime. In the last couple weeks, I made a few videos where I'm sitting in the restaurant, talking to the camera like I'm doing right now, and it was so awkward. It's so awkward to do that, like in public and people watching. So I figure I'll just film it and talk about it later and say the, the burger was good or bad or whatnot. But this one happened to be really good, Jackie Brown Shake. I really like that place. They had the movie playing in the corner. <laughs> So you can watch it, and it was a really cool experience there. I liked it. That was like some of the highlights of the week. Sorry about the background noise. The street is like right there. I'm about to take my ass down to the beach. It's a beautiful day out here. On part two of this video, I'll show you the ride out here. Spend some time with my friend's mom. Part two coming up. Way more popping. Way more shit going on. I'm Jay. YouTube calls me Journal. And uh, I appreciate you watching as always. Peace and love.